here's an adapter. Nothing special. Three outlets on it with three pins. Pretty standard 1363 there, 13 amp of course. Three of those fused. And here we go. But that's not today's video subject, okay? Because on this channel we do document electrical bits, bits and pieces from the usual to the more bizarre. Given that, I think it's time to uh, head off to the more bizarre end and uh, document an adapter which uh, is also a pin configuration converter. You've tuned in to Wayne's Electrical. Cue the intro. Okay then, here we find ourselves. You've tuned in then, and well, look at what we got there. We got two of them. Okay, two adapters. You can see the socket on the front and the socket on the top. Why am I bringing these up in front of the camera then? What's got to be discussed about these? Well, I've been looking for some of these for some time now, and it just so happens that those two, they were part of a big job lot auction okay the whole lot was being sold off all at once there was old switches in there plugs and sockets and adapters and bits of old like 1920s light fittings and curly bits of flex and goodness knows what else and the thing is the the, the whole lot it was just so full of rubbish that the the whole auction just did not sell so I got onto the seller and I said to him, those two little cubes that you've got there, I want those. And I said to him, I should give you this much for them and the postage. And he said, well, yeah, that's fine. I said, take the, these two little cubes out of the job lot and sell them to you. You can have them. So, you know, give it about a week or so later, these turned up. So I'm glad to have them. Been looking for some for quite some time now. And there we go. So we've got them here up in front of the camera and they've come back for high definition reshoots. Okay, so what makes these a little bit different then, a little special and a little more at the bizarre end, which allows them to have a video on Wayne's Electrical? Well, unlike that one which I used to open the video up, uh, those two are not a standard adapter, okay? There's British Standard 1363 on there, as it is up there, there and there. Well, on Wayne's Electrical, we do need to document the more bizarre end from time to time. And we're going to do that right now in this video. Okay, now both of those cubes, they're more or less exactly the same. So I'm just going to put this one just there. Let me pick this one up then and have a look at it. So we'll just cover the pins up because we'll get onto that in a minute. Outlet on the top then, outlet there. None round the sides, okay, and there we go. So what makes these then a little bit different, a little more bizarre, and needs to come on to Wayne's Electrical? Well, I'm going to reveal that right about now. It's not got pins like that, okay. Have yourself a look at this then, wallop. Yes, it's got round pins on it, and that makes this then a pin configuration converter. That one there is 15 amp, which is standard 546. Okay, and that is definitely uh, 15 amp on there, not the 5 amp. Because obviously speaking, that was a 5 amp on there, and you put a 13 amp in there. Uh, the, the 5 amp circuit would be overloaded, wouldn't it? So we definitely got on there, that's 15 amp, which is standard 546, no two ways about it. And of course, the other one, like I say, we've got two of them. One stays in the collection, okay, and the other one, I do occasionally use that, I've given it a pat, portable appliance test, and uh, yeah, all is well with it, I opened it up and checked it all out inside, and everything's lovely, fantastic, and tickety-boo, okay, I think this is the one which stays in the collection, and that one is the one which gets used quite regularly, let me uh, tilt the camera down a bit and we'll get on all the details that's between the pins and all of that lot. And you can see with me that this is definitely uh, a 15 amp 
Okay, you can see it already. If I can see that on the silly little screen on on the side of a camera, you can see that in full HD on Wayne's Electrical. And here we go. So it's not that often you see that on an adapter. Okay, where there's 13 amp outlet, 15 amp, 250 volts AC only, and up the top it says 13 amp. Okay, because it is like a 15 amp down to 13 amp bin configuration converter. Okay, up the top then it says maximum load 13 amps. There's a number there, 819. That's probably a part number. And that camera is focused right on the top of that pin, not having it. I might need to go for manual on this. Right, let's lock that in. Right, lock that in then, so it's not going to focus on the top of the pin. It's going to stay on the 819. And there we go. What's the uh, the red thing then? Well, that's a bit of a giveaway, because it says it right on there. It's a fuse. Let's get that out of there then, have a look at it. For those who know your uh, 13 amp plugs, you will know that the fuse in that is a bridge stand 1362. Okay, it's an alert one. There you go. So there it is. And obviously speaking, you put that inside there and then put that into the adapter. Okay, well, you never put just the fuse inside there okay although you wouldn't be able to get your fingers near that when it's in the wall socket right, it just adds a bit of protection okay like that so that's in there then what about the other one here comes the other one then as you can see they're more or less exactly the same but this one I do believe it says Livia on it yes there we go Livia 5083, okay, and there you go, it says on there, made in Hong Kong, okay, so now we know where they come from, and this one is the one which stays in the collection, okay, so it says Livia over this side on this one, and on this one it says the 15 amp over this side, 15 amp, 250 volts AC only, no mention of 13 amp on this one, 13 amp max, then it doesn't really need to because it got the fuse there okay and with this one you can actually get the fuse out from down the bottom here okay you just press it at the top that lifts that up and then you can get your screwdriver in there and lift that out so let's have a look at this fuse then if I can do it I think you do that like that something like that anyway no you do have to press it in at that end and prise it out at that end I don't want to break it. I'm pretty sure I've had this out before now. I keep whacking that camera. <laughs> what do you know? Sorry about it. I do keep whacking that camera. Right, it's a Livia fuse then. Livia, Livia, whichever way you choose to say it. 13 amp, British Standard 1362, as per usual. Okay. There you go. So we've got Livia fuse then in a Livia adapter. Tasty. There we are. Let's reinstate that back in there then. Pull that zoom back now that we've uh, looked at all the details. And there we are. So, do you want to see one of these go into 15 amp outlet? Of course you do. Now, if you just bear with me, I should go and get one, okay? Uh, yeah, what we do is I'll, uh, it's, it's a jeweler plug, but it's like a trailing socket, okay? And if I can find a 15 amp outlet, I'm pretty sure I've got one, just a loose one. We'll uh, put this in, and you can definitely see that this is a uh, 15 amp print arrangement on there, the British Standard 546. Okay, and we'll also put a couple of plugs in there so you can see that it's definitely the genuine article. But you stand with 1363 on there then. Okay, I'm just going to go get that. I've got a cup of tea here, which is slowly going cold, so I'll still have a go on that. If you want to go grab a cup of tea, do so, and then we should carry on straight after this.
we are then. Back after the break, and during that break, I did say that I was going to go and get 15 amp outlets, and I've got a loose one sitting around. Okay, so there we go. And yes, you can see that uh, that on there is definitely 15 amp size. Straight in there it goes, like that. Okay, turn the switch on, of course. There we are, and we've got a couple of 13 amp plugs that can go in there then, like that. And then on the top, I've got another plug. I'm going to sneeze in a moment, so I don't know why. <coughs> Do excuse that. But you can see then that we've got a moulded on plug in there, a standard one in there, or wire it yourself one, we can swap them over. Okay, there we go. So that's in there like that. And of course, that is definitely a 15 amp outlet because if I get my jaw plug one, which I said I was going to bring, here it is. That's a 15 amp on there, British Standard 546 then. Here comes our adapter with uh, a 13 amp plug in it. Okay. You can see the pins going in there. Thirteen amp plug on the top. Where's that moulded on one? That moulded plug. It's here somewhere. Here it is. Straight in there then. So there we are. And of course I should put the pins, uh, the plugs around the other way. Like that. And of course, up on the top of there. So there we are. What do you think of that then? Just to... Uh, just to verify it, I should do the other one. There we go. Like so. As you can see it in there. There's the uh that then in there. There we go. And in there like so okay and we'll do it around the other way might as well that in there and that in there there we go so there we are 15 amp then down to 13 amp a converter cube that's what I'm going to call it now, just speaking of uh, conversion and all of that, if I just uh, tilt this camera up a bit, see this and this, well, they're on one in, uh, on the end of uh, either, either end of a bit of flex, that's what I was going to say. Like that. Okay. It's got 13 amp British Standard 1363 on one end. And bridge standard 546 on the other, like that, and then you've got these which do it back the other way. So, there we go. Hope you enjoyed watching that one. What I would like you to do right about now big old thumb up, and there we go. Now, a little bit later on, as and when I can, I will try and get some more plugs up in front of the camera. And if you're lucky, video exclusives. Okay, it depends what I can get, when I can get it, what it is, and whether I think it's worthy of putting in front of the camera. Okay. So, I'm out of it. And all of that. Uh, whack the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber, because it'll save you having to miss out on future videos on Wayne's Electrical. It doesn't have to be plugs videos. You know, we've got all sorts of other things on here, electrical stuff. It could be uh, electricity meters, rate changes, time switches, uh, other wiring accessories like sockets. Okay. Uh, plugs is just a small, you know, bit of what happens on this channel. But uh, it has to go on, obviously speaking, because it is electrical and all of that lot. I'm out of here. Cheers for watching and stay tuned for more a bit later on.